My name is Tom Simpson and I'm a contemporary artist and a former student at St. Kevin's. It's probably no surprise that painting was my favourite subject at school. Um, I can remember spending a lot of time in the art room working on my painting portfolios and I think that was when I really fell in love with it. It also gave me an appreciation for just the amount of time and commitment that it takes to make good work. I definitely spent some lunch times and weekends in the art room. Graphics gave me an introduction to creative problem solving, which has been really useful to me. Um, it also gave me a good grasp of drawing in perspective, which has been a big advantage. I think that making connections between ideas is one of the fundamental skills for any creative person. And for me, studying English was a great way to hone that skill. Artists and designers need to be able to understand and interpret a text or a creative brief. And it also helps just being able to speak and write about your work. After high school, I went on to do a Bachelor of Design at Massey University in Wellington with a major in illustration. I took at least one fine arts paper while I was at Massey, but I was quite disappointed with it. And I think I gravitated towards illustration because there was a lot more emphasis on the fundamentals of drawing and painting than there was in the fine art department. During my time at Massey, I was exposed to a lot of different mediums and styles, which was fantastic. I was basically computer illiterate when I started the program, but I gradually got more and more comfortable using digital tools. The big advantage of digital tools is that they allow you to work more quickly and you can also be a lot more flexible in terms of making changes, which becomes really useful when you're working with a client. When I graduated, I was making basically all of my work digitally, including a bit of animation. I don't think there's such a thing as a perfect education, and there are certainly things that I wish my program would have covered in more detail. But because of the internet, it's so much easier to fill those gaps in your knowledge now than it ever has been. I think you can really take responsibility for your own development. The single most valuable thing about tertiary art study for me was meeting fellow students. I think that when you meet people who are on a creative journey that's similar to your own, you can assist each other in some really useful ways. I think you can motivate each other and keep each other inspired, and you also offer each other um, a healthy dose of friendly competition. It would be hard for me to overstate how important those things were for me. In fact, I think I probably learned more from the other students than I did from my instructors, and some of them are among my best friends to this day. At the very least, I'd say my undergraduate studies gave me the tools to continue a lifelong education. After graduation, I wasn't all that happy with my portfolio, so I took a day job as a coffee barista, and I spent as much of my spare time as I could for the next few months working on portfolio pieces. I started showing my work to some design and publishing companies around Wellington, and I started to get some freelance work. Most of my early projects were illustrations for publishing and design clients in New Zealand, um, but I also did some storyboarding, uh, a bit of animation, um, some concept design and a few background paintings for film and TV projects. After a few years of that, I got an illustration agent in Melbourne, which was a huge step for me because it meant that I could work full time as a freelance illustrator. My projects were quite diverse during that time. They ranged from event posters to wine labels to uh, editorial illustrations and even a few children's books. Every project presented a unique challenge and that certainly kept things interesting. A few years ago, I decided to step away from illustration and get back to painting traditionally. It was a tough transition, but I'm really enjoying a more hands-on approach to making art. Spending all day at the computer had taken away some of my enthusiasm for it, so it's been nice to get back to my roots a little bit. I still use the computer as a creative tool, although I tend to use it more for making sketches and visuals for my oil paintings than for making finished work. My first piece of advice to art students is that Whatever the word talent means to you, it really amounts to nothing without hard work. I think that anything in life worth achieving takes persistent effort and art's really no exception to that. Secondly, don't shy away from learning the fundamentals of your craft. Learning the fundamentals of anything takes time, but it's an investment that will pay dividends throughout your creative life. And you'll never regret the time spent to build a solid foundation. Number three, pay attention to what speaks to you. Throughout your creative life, people will respond to different aspects of your work in different ways, and this can sometimes lead you in a direction that you don't necessarily want to go. I think the best tools you have 
for making creative decisions are your own instincts and being brutally honest with yourself when you're evaluating your work. Using those two things in conjunction is really what helps you develop your artistic voice over time. Number four, I think it's a good idea to learn to use both traditional and digital tools. Both have their inherent strengths and weaknesses, and if you develop a grasp of both, then you'll have a well-roundedness that not every artist has, and you'll probably have more opportunities in your career because of that. Number five, make friends with other artists and creative people. I think that community is really important, especially if you're trying to do something as crazy as become an artist. The connection you have with the creative people in your life is one of the things that makes a career in the arts such a rewarding thing. And finally, I'd say take advantage of the knowledge and resources on the internet. If you do that, then you don't need to suffer from a lack of knowledge in your local area. You can access video lectures, demonstrations, online communities, mentorships. I've made use of all of those and the benefits have been huge. My only caveat is that it's a good idea to do your homework and find out who's offering the good stuff. And there is plenty of good stuff out there. I'll finish by saying, I think it's the best time in history to be an art student. The tools have never been better and also the knowledge has never been more freely available.